Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chris, and today I'm going to teach you how to eavesdrop on voice over IP conversations. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of fun, but before we begin this tutorial, there are a couple of things I need to make you aware of. First, it is highly illegal to eavesdrop on voice over IP conversations. It is a federal crime, and it does fall under the Federal Wiretap Act. So, in order to avoid prosecution by involuntarily committing any sort of crime, I recommend that you perform this attack on your own network and your own voice over IP system. So with that said, we can get started. First thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up our WICD Network Manager. So let's navigate into the main menu. And then we're going to select Applications, Internet, and then we're going to select the Network Manager. Now in the WICD Network Manager's main menu, we're going to select Preferences. And in the Preferences menu, we're going to enter the name of our wireless interface or our wired interface depending on the network adapter we're using. If you're using your system's built-in network adapter, you're probably using a bridge connection. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that your host computer is connected to the same network as the voice over IP system. And if you're using a wireless interface, obviously we'll connect to that in a second here. So go ahead and enter the name of your interface. I'm using a wired interface and it's called ETH0. Once you finish entering the name of your interface, go ahead and press OK. And back in the main menu, select Refresh. Now, if you're using a wireless interface, it'll scan for wireless networks and it'll display them in the window. You'll want to find the network and select Connect. Now, for those of you who are using a wired network like I am, go ahead and select Connect below Wired Network. All right, now that the connection process is finished, we can go ahead and close out the WICD Network Manager. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new terminal. And in terminal, we're going to type ettercap space tac uppercase T space tac uppercase M space uppercase A R P space tac lowercase I space, and then we're going to enter the name of our interface. For me, it's ETH0 space forward slash forward slash space forward slash forward slash. Once you've done that, press enter. Okay, now that we have EdderCap running, we're going to open Wireshark. And to do that, we'll navigate into our main menu, and we're going to select Applications. Then we're going to select Backtrack, Information Gathering, Network Analysis, and then Network Traffic Analysis, and then Wireshark. Now once Wireshark is open, you're going to select Capture, which is up here in the main menu. And then we're going to select Options. Now in the options menu, we're going to tick the box next to the interface that we just used to connect to our network. For me, it's ETH0. So tick the box. And once you've ticked that box, you can go ahead and select start. And this is going to start capturing packets as they travel across the network. Now with Wireshark running, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my voice over IP phone to contact my mobile phone. So you'll hear me as I'm doing that. Let's move this down. And you can hear my mobile phone is ringing, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it. I'm going to have a conversation with myself. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? This is Chris. I just wanted to see if you were able to capture this conversation. Yeah, I'm looking at Wireshark right now, and I see a lot of RTP streams and some SIP streams as well. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the conversation with myself, which was kind of interesting. And now that I've ended the conversation, I'm going to select Capture in the main menu again. And I'm going to select Stop. And this is going to stop the capture. Now we're ready to look for the voice over IP call. And Wireshark does have a built-in tool for doing this. It makes it very easy. So back up in the main menu, we're going to select Telephony. And then we're going to select Voice over IP calls. And in the Voice over IP window, you'll see here we do have one voice over IP call. Now it's going to show the number of the caller as well as the number of the recipient. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that voice over IP call and then we're going to select player. Now in the RTP player, we're going to select decode. Move that up a little bit. And here it's going to show the incoming and outgoing audio streams. Go ahead and tick the box next to one of those or both of them if you want to hear the entire conversation. And when you're ready to listen to the conversation, you'll select play. I'm going to have a conversation with myself. Hello. 
Hey, what's going on, man? This is Chris. I just wanted to see if you were able to capture this conversation. Yeah, I'm looking at Wireshark right now, and I see a lot of RTP streams and some SIP streams as well. So let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the conversation with myself, which was kind of interesting. And there you have it. You just heard the conversation that I had with myself. And when you're finished with Wireshark, you'll want to go ahead and close out the RTP player. And then you can close out your voice over IP window. And then you can also close out Wireshark. And if you want to save the data that you capture, you can go ahead and select Save. Or you can quit without saving, which is what I'll do. Now back in your EdderCap terminal, you'll want to make sure that's active. And then you'll press Control-C to stop EdderCap. And then we'll just go ahead and exit that terminal. So that's it, guys. That's how you eavesdrop on voice over IP conversations. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.